Okay, so now I think we do understand why you're so fixated on reading uh, research and nice uh, research. Uh, what I are there any key takeaways that we could like summarize uh, from eye tracking research on subtitling? So you're asking, do we know anything uh, useful that could be implemented into your reality? <laughs> That's how I understand your question. <laughs> uh, yes, honestly, like yes. for for us, if we have a like, like for a person who haven't uh, had that much experience with eye tracking research, we could of course go and read all the papers uh, from your research and so on. But let's say we don't have that time. So, uh, like, what are the most important lessons you think we have learned uh, as a subtitling community thanks to eye tracking? research? Um, for instance, what we uh, learned from um, an eye tracking study by my colleague uh, Pablo Romero Fresco on uh, live subtitles uh, that are displayed not as blocks but uh, word for word or phrase by phrase, uh, thanks to eye tracking research we know that reading such subtitles uh, resembles walking on quicksand uh, in a way uh, because you're uh, reading 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 and then your eyes are there ahead of the the subtitle ahead of the word in the subtitle then you go back then the word appears so there's a lot of chasing with your eyes and it's um, thanks to eye tracking that we know that this uh, type of uh, subtitling is not particularly conducive to um, reading, uh, so it would be better to display subtitles uh, as blocks. That, of course, uh, has uh, other sets of issues related to um, uh, delay, but that's that's not the point. So that's one uh, piece of uh, evidence um, that we uh, can uh, implement immediately thanks to uh, eye tracking research. If you're uh, Asking from the so, sorry to stop you there, but it seems like those guys at YouTube haven't read it because if whenever I go into YouTube and if there are those automatic subtitles, they are always displayed word by word. So you're saying we already know for some years from research that this is very detrimental to our reading process. Yes, uh, Google people, if you're watching this, please <laughs> make sure <laughs> to change this. I understand this is the result of uh, automatic speech recognition uh, going uh, word by word or phrase by phrase, and this is how it's displayed. Uh, by the way, uh, you know, uh, line breaks and text segmentation in those automatic subtitles could be easily improved as well. For instance, you could implement some rules that after uh, a comma or full stop, there is a new subtitle or, or, a, or a line break. There, there, uh, there's lots of uh, room for improvement, I would say. So these automatic subtitles should get a bit smarter. Uh, that's, that seems to be the conclusion. That's right.